can hear the elephant. And we're just going to go back. Um, follow me, Seb. Just come back this side. Yeah, it's elephant. Okay. We'll just see, have a look here. It's a herd of elephant. Okay, we're going to sit quietly, stand quietly here. I think the wind is in our favor still. Sorry, everyone. No, we just need to be cautious in a way. Yeah, the wind is in our favor, but look at them. The whole herd's coming. We're just going to stand quietly. If we need to, we've got uh, some big trees behind us. Oh, look here. Now the wind's perfectly in our favor. I can hear some others to our left, so we'll just have to be very cautious. And look at that, an entire herd. <laughs> they just came out of nowhere. You can see they're moving quite quickly. They haven't even noticed us yet, which is perfect. But we do have to be careful. A breeding herd of elephant can sometimes be a bit unpredictable um, with the youngsters and the females. Isn't this great? What a nice surprise. What a nice surprise. I think let's just head back a little bit here, Seb. I'm just going to come to this side of the road. I think let's stand behind this thicket over here. I think, Seb, yeah, let's just stand over here. You know what? It's not much. It's not much, but it gives us just a little bit of cover that we don't stand out. So we're just standing behind some trees. The elephants are still very comfortable. Look at them moving through there. Ah, oh, this is great. This is really exciting. I'm still scanning behind us the whole time. Just having a look if there aren't others that are possibly in uh, moving through the thickets behind us. Uh, the wind is still in our favor, so they haven't noticed us yet, but it's amazing. We're just we were walking and um, and we just heard the the bushes and the branches. These elephants, look, there's some youngsters there too. Oh, how wonderful. What a nice way to end off this little stint that I've been, been here for, viewing a, one of my favorite animals on foot. And I don't even know we're here yet. Now that is perfect for a bushwalk, is if you can view animals and they don't know you're here. And you can just appreciate and view them and watch them in their natural habitat, natural environment, and their natural behavior. And off they go. Mrs. Zero, you said what a special moment. It really is. It really is a special moment. And we're not far from them. We probably, um, I'd say, 70 meters away from that whole herd. Now, they've, they were closer earlier. They were about 50 or 60 meters away. Now they're about 70 meters from us. So that's not far at all. Now, as we walk through and carry on, we will still just have to be cautious and careful. There aren't one or two at the back stragglers that are possibly following the herd, maybe a bull, you never know. So we just, whenever you're on a walk and you see animals, always look around. There might be others dotted around somewhere. Bushes and trees and <laughs> farming you think there's quite a lot there I, I couldn't tell I didn't actually do a count I think there's possibly about 20 20 odd elephant around <laughs> that is awesome that is such a nice nice surprise as I said everyone you know it um, always be cautious and only do these bush walks with somebody who's got the qualifications and experience. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the name. Adichito? I'm just sorry. Um, 
B. Cheeto, um, you asked, is it true that elephants always walk the same route? No, not at all. The elephants will constantly change routes and d directions, moving in different directions. However, there are certain areas where elephants know routes to water, um, or and especially when they've got to move and in search for food and water different times of the year, they'll probably move in the similar direction. Yes, the exact same route, unlikely. And there's a camp actually in Zambia, I think, and the camp is, they built this camp in an area that the elephants used to move through regularly to go and feed on certain trees. And these elephants now move straight through that camp. They walk through that camp every year. It's amazing to see. But they obviously know the food is there, the water is there. Oh, those Ellie's are still there. Now I'm just moved off a little bit more. <clears throat> that was great. They're still there. They're still there. Sorry, so we can just see. If you want to just have a look through there, you can just see them. The herd is still standing. Now the wind is actually still in our favour. This is really special. And like I said, I do, um, you know, with the bushwalks, just make sure you, with a qualified guide, someone who's got experience, and. I always say, you know, I don't mind approaching animals and viewing them on foot, but you always have to maintain that level of, of um, uh, respect and and just, uh, you know, view the animals with the idea that you don't want to disturb them. That's the best best way to view animals. Like now, these elephant have, they still have no idea we're here. The wind is in our favor. There's a bit of cover. They haven't seen us. That's why they're still feeding there. No trumpeting, absolutely nothing. No sign of any aggression. Is such a nice surprise. Now I wonder if anyone's got some answers for me on those, on that quiz of the um, the tracks that I had, the little tracks in the sand. <coughs> now Roshni, you say honey badger. Sorry Roshni, no, remember I was explaining the honey badger, you would be able to see the toes clearly, you could see the um, you could see the back pad very clearly. That was just a little dab in the sand. White owl and deer watcher, you say genet tracks. No, genet track is much smaller and you would also be able to see the toes clearly and the little back pad, but a genet track is very small. A genet track is about this big. Ali and Shannon, you got it right. You say scrub hair. It was a little scrub hair. Now you just see, because of those hairy little paws of the scrub hair, you just see the little dab in the sand, a little scuff mark. Let's see if I can find another one around here. There's plenty of scrub hair tracks, but it's just a little dab in the sand, and that's scrub hair. So that's what those were.